welcome back to another video. This is gonna be episode three of my prep series and it's an exciting one because today we are headed back to Utah for my sister's wedding. My sister's getting married on Saturday and I'm so excited. I haven't been back home to Utah since Christmas so it's almost been a year. But um, all packed, getting ready to call the Uber. But I thought I would do another little travel vlog. I've done one of these before and they're just kind of fun. So I thought I would do that and kind of give you a few tips for um, healthy things, kind of how I'm doing it with prep going on and some little beauty hacks I learned recently. So we can just start off right now. Let's just start on the first one. So the first one is to put on a good moisturizer before you get on the flight. So I just wash my face and then I put on my new moisturizer. This is what I'm using by Osea, not sponsored, whatever, just love this stuff. It's like a um, more of a heavy moisturizer and the cabin's just really dry, stale, full of bacteria. So to have your skin moisturized with a good moisturizer is going to keep it from absorbing all that yucky stuff. And I always wonder, that's kind of why I looked up these tips because I've noticed every time I go on a flight, I break out. So I wanted to know, you know, what are some good beauty tips? So that's number one, is moisturize your skin. Yep, that's it for now. So see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Ellie got a pat down. <laughs> okay guys, update. We are at the airport. Made it through TSA, barely. Which brings me to tip number two, which is to pack some snacks. Now, first thing, I already ate my only snack and forgot to show you guys what it was, but it was just two rice cakes, some tofurkey deli slices, just like a little sandwich. But the other thing I packed is lots of protein powders, you know? And apparently one of them uh, tested positive for like explosive ingredients, so got a full pat down and had to throw away the protein powder in the end, which was fine, but I thought I was in trouble there for a sec. So um, if you use green, what was it, green barrel? Something like that, green barrel. It's a protein I've never tried. It was just like a sample packet. I'll try to find what it was and I'll pop it up on the screen what it looks like, but don't use that because it has explosive ingredients in it and that's probably not good for you anyway. It was a vegan protein powder too. So weird. Talon's eating crackers. <sighs> but yeah, pack snacks. Maybe stick to Orgain. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. So even though I had to throw away that one protein, I didn't have to throw away the protein that I planned in my macros for today, which is Orgain. That's in here. Use my code, I'll pop it on the screen. So yeah, my macros are set for the day, and luckily only one thing didn't get through, but everything else did. My pea science got through, and protein cereal. And while we're waiting for a flight, I'll just mention my next tip too, which I talked about in my last travel vlog, is to bring water. But today I brought an even bigger jug, so this is a hydro jug. It's 2.2 liters, so I only have to have one, and like... <laughs> a quarter of these a day. So I just brought it through past TSA and then filled it up with water and I won't have to worry about water at all on the flight. And then another beauty tip I learned about flying is that your body loses about a half to a liter of water for every three hours you're on a plane. So you really need to be drinking water and those little tiny water cups they bring you, it's definitely not enough. So get yourself a giant jug, bring it with you. And your skin will stay hydrated, your organs will stay hydrated. Now we're just gonna wait to board the flight and I'll see you there. I'm excited. Separate seats, flight was about three hours. Read my book the whole time. So that's another little mini tip is obviously bring something to do. And reading is always a good thing. 
<laughs> kind of chaotic. Walking and vlogging. So my parents are picking us up at the airport, but I'm gonna give you guys my very last beauty tip related to the flight, and that is to not touch your face as much as possible because there's just a lot of bacteria, like I said, and so getting out onto your face is just gonna make you break out. But that's a good tip just in general is to not touch your face. And I did pretty well, I was trying to remember that. But we're just gonna go home to my parents' house, relax, and then I'll probably see you guys in the next clip, which will probably be tomorrow. Hey guys! So it is actually two days later, I guess. So yesterday was our first day in Utah. We pretty much just hung out with family, and then I also went to the grocery store and got some staple foods that I like that are good for my macros. Um, I'm a little bit lower on carbs pretty much this whole week, so it's really important that I plan ahead. And that is actually my next tip for success, probably the most important while you're traveling is to plan ahead. That includes meals, so again, I grabbed a bunch of stuff I needed, mostly tofu, veggies, got some mushrooms, I like mushrooms. Just some, just some of the regular stuff I use. And then the other thing you need to plan ahead is what gym you're gonna go to. Now, if you're not prepping and you're just on vacation and you don't wanna work out, or you wanna just work out at home or do a body weight workout, that is great, and that's fine. But um, when you're on prep, you kind of need to go to a gym. So um, I planned ahead and it wasn't that hard because my parents live really close to a gym and it's the one I used to always go to when I lived here. So that's the one I'm going to today. I'm going to try and film today's workout for you guys, but I don't know how busy it's gonna be. This gym seems to usually be pretty busy. So if it's too crowded, then maybe I'll film tomorrow's workout. But either way, I'm gonna try to get a workout in this video for you guys. And yeah. So that is um, it for now, and I'll either see you guys in the gym or in the next clip. Take another hit, but I'm already high. Told myself I wouldn't, why do I even try? Here we go again, fucking on my head, staying home and getting stoned instead. I know that I should.
guys, so workout's done. I was able to film it, so that was great. They have a little uh, area that's just for women and it's a little bit smaller and it was just easier to film in there. So glad I got that. And, uh, and then I did some cardio. Um, I just did like 300 calories of steady stay on the Stairmaster at the end. But I wanted to give you my last tip of the video which is to get to the gym early when you are on vacation or traveling because that way you know you're gonna get it done and if you have anything else going on with family, you're not missing out. Now today I didn't follow through on this tip for myself, but I plan to the rest of the trip. Today I didn't get to the gym till like 11.30, but um, yeah, the rest of the trip I just wanna get it out of the way, not have to worry about it, and then you just don't miss out on anything with family, friends, all that. I hope you guys like this video. Um, the travel vlogs are always a little bit scattered for me, but I hope you got some good info and tips. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also gives you a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.